This is Mike Callahan, Dr. Fallfinder, and welcome to your Butterscotch.com tutorial on what is a port. In computers, you hear the term port. Someone's helping you set up your email. They say your POP server should use port 110. But what does that mean? Well, a port on a computer is similar to a phone number. So here's a computer switchboard. So let's say that all of these connections are ports. Now let's also say that this blue cable is actually a stream of data that's heading out towards a certain port. So the port is like a phone number. And on network communications between a client and a server, it specifies a specific port, and that's where the stream of data goes. So this would be the stream of data going to this specific port. It's like calling a phone number. When you call a specific phone number, you expect to get a specific person. The port is blocked, then the information doesn't go through. The first 1,024 ports are reserved for things. For example, email clients, Thunderbird. I can know that POP by default uses port 110. And that SMTP, outgoing mail, uses port 25. Program like FileZilla, doing FTP, the default port is 21. So, there are any number of ports that are used, but a port, once again, is like a phone number. And programs use them for communication to transmit data through a specific port. That's a port, and that's all there is to it.